This workflow demonstrates how to use the Stable Diffusion 1.5's SD1.5 checkpoint to generate an image of a girl with her hands on her face, while maintaining consistency in pose and structure. To begin, we start with a simple text prompt that describes the desired subject and pose. Once we input the prompt, SD1.5 generates an image that closely matches the described pose. Match the exact pose by referencing an existing pose image. By iterating and refining the prompt, now, let's view the full resolution and the high resolutions, higher is upscale. Look at the amazing detail achieved with SD's higher's upscaling. This method is useful for generating variations of the same pose with different styles. The ultimate SD upscale is a good method to get details from the generated image. I am going to group it and name it Hires Upscale. Next, let's load another pose, a superhero girl. We get the same pose. Since we use line art, it maintains the outlines of the original pose image, which is especially noticeable in the skirt area. It tries to preserve the edges. We can see that the upscaled image has high detail. This is a very good upscale setting. Now, let's change the image prompt to a Japanese girl. We get the same pose, but the skirt is not properly generated. Even if we specify a skirt in the prompt, it does not appear because the original image does not have one. Let's try a different control net model. Even when using depth control net, the clothing pattern around her waist does not resemble a proper skirt. It does not look like a shirt either. Discussing issues in a workflow is important because, in the real world, things are not always perfect. At some point, we all encounter issues. By identifying and discussing them, we can find fixes or solutions that improve our knowledge, enhance the workflow, and further educate ourselves on AI. Now, let's try generating an image of a Japanese schoolgirl with a similar pose. Prompt, a Japanese schoolgirl in a white shirt and gray skirt with long hair in New York City. The girl's pose remains similar, but we can still refine the prompt for better results. I will share the workflow in the description if you want to experiment with it.